mastering mind, enhancing critical thinking. The mind is a labyrinth filled with pathways and possibilities. But how do we navigate through the clutter to reach clarity? Welcome back to Ponder Point, where we unravel the threads of thought to weave a clearer understanding of ourselves and the world. Today we're going to hone your reasoning skills. If you haven't already checked out our first episode on the basics of philosophy, I highly recommend it, as it lays the groundwork for what we're diving into today. Critical thinking isn't just an academic discipline. It's essential for navigating life's myriad challenges. It allows us to dissect problems, discern truth from misinformation, and devise effective solutions. Today, we'll explore the profound impact that honed critical thinking skills can have on your personal and professional life, enhancing your ability to operate effectively in a complex world. Think of critical thinking as a toolbox, each tool designed for specific tasks. Analysis helps us to understand the parts and their relationships. Evaluation judges the credibility of information and sources. Inference allows us to draw reasonable conclusions based on the evidence, and explanation helps us articulate our reasoning clearly and effectively. Mastering these components isn't just useful, it's imperative for making informed decisions. Logical fallacies are like pitfalls in our reasoning process, easy to fall into but hazardous. They can obscure the truth and undermine arguments. Trying as often as possible to identify common fallacies, understand why they're appealing yet flawed, and learn strategies to avoid these reasoning errors, ensuring your arguments are both sound and persuasive. Familiarize yourself with the most common logical fallacies such as straw man, ad hominem, false dilemma, slippery slope, and circular reasoning. Understanding what each fallacy entails and how it manifests in arguments allows you to recognize them when they occur, either in your reasoning or in others' arguments. Make it a practice to reflect on your own arguments and beliefs. Ask yourself whether you are supporting your claims with evidence or if you might be relying on flawed reasoning. This self-reflection helps in detecting subtle fallacies in your own thinking before they weaken your arguments. Whenever you encounter a claim or an argument, whether in media, in academic contexts, or in everyday conversations, practice asking critical questions like, what is the evidence? Are there alternative explanations? Does the conclusion logically follow from the premises? This habit helps you spot fallacies and strengthens your ability to analyze arguments objectively. Expose yourself to a variety of viewpoints and arguments on any given topic. This broadens your understanding and reduces the risk of falling into confirmation bias, a type of fallacy where you favor information that confirms your existing beliefs. By considering different angles, you're more likely to spot weaknesses in reasoning and refine your own stance. Engage in discussions with peers or mentors who can provide constructive feedback on your arguments. This collaborative environment allows for the identification of logical fallacies that you might have missed. Others can help point out errors in reasoning and suggest improvements, enhancing the soundness of your conclusions. Learn to deconstruct arguments into their fundamental components, premises, and conclusion and analyze the relationship between them. This methodical approach helps in clearly identifying where fallacies might be disrupting the logical flow, enabling more precise critique and correction of flawed reasoning. Consistently apply the same critical standards to all arguments, regardless of the topic or the individuals involved. This impartiality helps prevent the influence of biases and emotional reasoning, which are common roots of many logical fallacies. Improving your critical thinking is an active process. We should introduce techniques such as questioning assumptions, debating ideas, and analyzing arguments through structured practices. Whether it's through daily journaling to reflect on your thought processes or engaging in structured debates, these techniques will build your analytical muscles. Daily practice. Start each day with a question of the day that challenges a common assumption. For example, Question the assumption that multitasking is always an efficient way of working. Research and reflect on studies and expert opinions about the effectiveness of single-tasking versus multitasking. Write down your findings and how they might influence your own work habits. Structured exercise. Organize a weekly discussion group where each member brings an assumption related to current events or personal beliefs. Debate these assumptions critically requiring each participant to provide evidence or logical reasoning to support or refute the assumption. 
Debating ideas. Arrange a debate workshop focusing on a controversial topic, such as the impact of social media on mental health. Split participants into two groups with opposing viewpoints. Each group prepares their arguments, backed by research and data, and presents them in a structured debate format. This exercise helps participants practice defending their viewpoints while also considering opposing arguments. Participate in online forums or social media groups that discuss complex topics, such as environmental policy or educational reforms. Engage actively by questioning others' opinions and defending your ideas with structured, well-thought-out arguments. Analyzing arguments. When reading news articles, take time to analyze the arguments presented by the journalist or the sources within the story. Identify the main claims, the evidence provided, and any potential biases or logical fallacies. This can be done as a daily review activity with a journal entry summarizing your analysis. Create role-playing scenarios where you and a group of peers take on different roles in a scenario, such as stakeholders in a company deciding on a new strategy. Each person must present their arguments and counter-arguments based on their assigned role, focusing on logical coherence and evidential support. Reflective journaling. Maintain a daily journal where you reflect on the decisions you made throughout the day and the thought processes behind them. Evaluate the effectiveness of your decisions and consider what biases might have influenced your choices. Keep a philosophical diary that tackles a different philosophical question each week. Reflect on personal beliefs and how they align with or challenge philosophical theories. This practice encourages deep thinking and the examination of one's own beliefs in light of broader philosophical ideas. Structured debates. Organize bi-weekly debates with friends or colleagues on a variety of topics ranging from ethics and technology to strategies in business. Prepare by researching your topic thoroughly, ensuring you can back up your position with facts and sound reasoning. Join or start a debate club that meets regularly. This formal setting allows for structured debates where rules are enforced to ensure fair and focused argumentation helping participants refine their debating skills and critical thinking abilities. Critical thinking transcends academic boundaries. It's a vital component of everyday life. From making financial decisions to resolving personal conflicts to voting, the skills you develop can dramatically improve your interactions and decisions in every aspect of your life. We'll showcase real life examples to illustrate how these skills are applied and the remarkable difference they can make. When considering whether to invest in a new tech startup, a person applies critical thinking by evaluating the credibility of the company's business plan, assessing the market potential, and weighing the risks against potential returns. They seek advice from financial experts, analyze similar past investments, and scrutinize the startup's management team before making an informed decision. In a disagreement with a friend over plans that were miscommunicated, instead of reacting emotionally, a person uses critical thinking to approach the situation. They analyze the communication breakdown, consider both perspectives, and propose a constructive solution that acknowledges the misunderstanding and suggests a clear plan for future communications to avoid similar issues. During an election, a voter faced with choosing a candidate doesn't just rely on campaign ads or sound bites. They critically analyze each candidate's platforms, past performance, and the validity of their promises. The voter attends community forums, reads independent analysis, and even scrutinizes the sources of the information to ensure they are not biased, leading to a more informed and thoughtful vote. When deciding on a diet plan, an individual doesn't simply follow popular trends showcased on social media. Instead, they research scientific studies about different diets, consider their own health condition with advice from medical professionals and evaluate the sustainability and nutritional benefits of each plan to make a choice that is both healthy and feasible for their lifestyle. Today we've journeyed through the core of critical thinking, from its components to its application in real-world scenarios. If you missed our first episode on the fundamentals of philosophy, I encourage you to go back and watch it. It's a great foundation for what we've discussed today. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into critical thinking, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss our next episode. Thank you for joining us at PonderPoint. Keep thinking, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep improving. See you next time.